Hi there, Jeff Coughlin, Editor Scale Modelling Now. Well, here's a great opportunity to take a look at the new Bristol Bowfighter publication. It's a detailed guide to Bristol's hard-hitting twin, as it's titled on the cover. Um, it's another one in the Airframe album series, and in fact, we're already up to number 14, uh, again by Richard Franks, uh, published by Valiant Wings Publishing. Exactly like the other titles in the series, what you've got here is a beautifully produced uh, volume, about 178 pages, high quality art paper, and some exceptional reference is included. As with the other titles, essentially what you've got are a number of pages of excellent reference, history development uh, of the type, that then rolls into all kinds of um, uh, colour profiles, uh, markings, but along the way, you've got um, areas like this, as you can see, that have got fabulous walk around detail covering the internal and external aspects of the bow fighter that are just invaluable for scale modelers. So as we kind of move through, as, as we uh, as we can see here, you know, really extensive coverage. I think this is one, if not the best title to date in the series, it really exceptional uh, quality and Gosh, there's so much reference in there, I said considerably more than there has been. But then the bow fighter was developed considerably across its different marks and different types. So that's what I love about uh, this particular section, as you can see here, with all the subtle differences that, that show up uh, across the airframe as the type moved into uh, different development phases. Um, so rolling on a little bit here. Yeah, great section here on the camouflage and markings. And of course, this is where Richard Caruana's uh, excellent profiles, colour profiles come into their own and give you the opportunity to create some really uh, impressive um, uh, models, but not least of which in terms of giving you an idea of what uh, what uh, weathering took place on the particular types and the different theatres of operation and so on and so forth. And what you end up with is that rolling through. Oh, I've just spotted that one there. There we go. That's, I think it's 45 Squadron. Uh, aircraft. In fact, I've just finished uh, a compl and completed a build of the new Revel Mark, uh, TF Mark 10 um, in that colour scheme you can see there. So if you want to see that build, then uh, check out Finish Now. The Revel pages are finished now and you'll see uh, that in there. Um, but this is great too. Look at that. Some beautiful scale line drawings um, of the type. Upper and lower camouflage markings. Um, and just looking through to the end, you've got uh, also a, a couple of really nice builds. You've got um, builds of the FX, the 72nd scale FX kit, and that's also a TF-10, and you've also got the new Revel, um, Mark, uh, sorry, TF-10, uh, that's right, TF-10, uh, but 48 scale by uh, Steve Evans again uh, here. And... Well, blow me down, that's astonishing. I've just got to the very, very page, and <laughs> would you believe it? Um, Steve has done his in um, the same scheme that I did, and I used the Helen's, De Helen's Extra Decal Sheet, and I suspect he probably has too. Uh, what I love about what he's done here, he's gone on, and I've noticed a couple of things I've spotted. I've noticed that he's, he's amended the, uh, the long wing fillet, um, you could, sorry, the leading edge fillet on the fin here, which needs a little bit of a, a reshape at the front end. And also he's added rockets uh, to his model, which is great to see. That's a nice, a nice addition. Some lovely weathering there I noticed around the collector ring as well. Well done, Steve. Good job. Went a little bit further than I did with, with your model. So that, that's good to see. And then the title finishes up with the usual listing, kit listings of all the Bowfighter kits that they've been. Um, currently uh, all the accessory sets, uh, decal sheets, uh, and so on and so forth. So there we go, about 178 pages of extremely valuable research and reference and a complete one-stop shop to the Bristol Bowfighter. If you're building the kit, buy this book. It's as simple as that. 